Hello everyone. Uh, Wicked Ash Jen here. So I just want to show you guys some stuff real, real, real quick. Don't mind my messy desk. It's all work in progress right now. Um, show you four tiles, or two tiles and two mini tiles, and then a little small haul. Um, so this is my first tile. I want to show you. So in theory, it was really awesome. I wanted it, everything pink and then a pink background. This background color dried a lot darker slash brighter than what I had envisioned. Um, so you really can't see anything on the front. Like you can, but you can't. Like it just blends in so well. So you see I have a really big bow here and I had lots of issues with the bubbles. Um, I don't know if, I mean, I know you can see it, but there we go. And I tried to fix that. That didn't really work, but I was like, whatever, I can just put some accent gems over the, the bow or something to cover that up. But everything in here, as you can see, is pink. So there's like a little pink flower right here. There's some pink candy hearts, some pink stars, some pink... um. I sat here and picked out pink sprinkles out of a bottle of sprinkles. Uh, pink stars, pink hearts. A pink um, lightning bolt. A little pink... She like looks like kind of like a geisha girl and I can just... Now I see that there's a giant bubble right there. Hmm, isn't that nice? And I can actually feel that, which is very weird. Um, a pink Again, a big, this is a pink, as I, you know, drop it and break it. This is a pink um, candy heart, a pink sprinkle heart, a pink star, a pink skull with a bow, a pink poodle, and another pink heart that has like silver holographic color stars in it. Um, and it even has pink, uh, if I won't focus. Pink seed beads. I sat here and picked out pink seed beads. <laughs> so, and then there's like different colors of pink glitter in it. I don't know. It looks cool. Like, but it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it, I guess. I wanted it to pop a little bit more. And everything in here, with the exception of the poodle, so all these other um, big things, the exception of the poodle is a second from Delish Beat. I bought a bag of B quality, it was like $15 for this big old huge, like 100 plus piece bag of B quality uh, cabs and bows and um, whatever, uh, different things, so that's not too bad I guess. So yeah, there's that. There's the back that didn't turn out right. Anyway. So my second piece I'm going to show you is my Lisa Frank tile. I love, 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 the love the way this turned out. I love Lisa Frank. Because she's colorful and she's awesome. There we go. Now I sealed this before I set it. And you can still see some watermarks um, on the sides and stuff, which really, really annoys me because I sealed it really, really good. And this is just a sticker. And I sealed it with glossy uh, Mod Podge. But it's not too bad. It's okay. Um, so I did that, and then I put these, uh, star cabs in here, cabochons, that I got from, actually I got those from Delish Beads as well. Those are not seconds I paid for those. Well, I paid for everything, but, you know, they were, and they're like, really, you could see them right there on the side. If, there we go. So they're puffy stars. Um... So there's those in there, and then there's a sprinkle mix, and that's actually the sprinkle mix that I sat there and picked up pink sprinkles for the pink one. <laughs> um, but 
throw the bright color sprinkles and then I mixed my neon blue and neon pink acrylic paint to get this neon purple and then kind of splattered it in there and then so that was all extra I put in there that was it and then I just um, did a thing of you know did um, a layer and then my resin glittered my resin layered my resin um, into a rainbow kind of effect and then layered it once more so, I love it. I just need to um, figure out what I'm going to do with it. It's $15 if anybody wants it. Um, and I may just either put a chain on it to hang and then put some files on the back. Or, you know, if somebody wants it you and I haven't done anything with it yet, you can definitely tell me. I haven't sanded it. As you can see, I haven't sanded it yet or domed it. So... Um, my next piece is this little bat tile. This is my soap mold, soap mold tile. Um, you can see all the little bubbles. And that's my resin. I started using the family wood resin from um, Lowe's. And this is what it does. It's like you can't really tell. Like when you're looking at it, you just you can't really tell unless it's at an angle. But I don't know. So this is, it's a pigment that I got from TKB, TKB Trading, it's Storm, and I just mixed that with the resin, and then um, popped it in the mold, let it set, and then put another clear layer over that, and then set the bats. And these bats are sticker bats, but they're glitter, they're puffy sticker glitter bats. Um, they're like a foamy bat. Sorry about that, little people came in. Um, so I did the bats and then I just cut a piece of this. this is actually scrapbooking paper. And I didn't really know what to do with the back. My husband was like, leave it blank. And I'm like, no, I can't leave it blank. And then I didn't really know. I thought about trying to do like a big, huge full moon, but I really wasn't that ambitious. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway. Um, so yeah, it's a piece of scrapbooking paper, and I just sealed it, cut it, sealed it, and put it in there. And in the back, Daddy. I just put just random glitter, because, yeah, I didn't know what to put. So I just kind of went through this effect, and then, um, I get this black in here, because I tried to shoot it with the, uh, hairdryer to pop all the bubbles. And right here there's a piece of thread, or a piece of string. What are you doing, Finn? Grabbing the fishes. So there's that. That's my mini tile. Um, and this one would be like $3, only because it's got all these bubbles. Even though I love it, it's just... I don't know. But I think it's cute. I don't know. So this one, yeah, it would just be like $3. Then I could paint the sides so you couldn't see that paper. Like that. But... Whatever. And this one I love, love, love. It's my Popples tile. OMG, how cute is that? So you can see it's got kind of a um, transparent, translucent, whatever, uh, background. So, so we'll start at the edge. This is TKB's red, pink, red, blue, um, I believe. Yeah, pink, red, blue pigment. Just that, and a little bit of resin. And so I set that, and then I s did a clear layer, and then I set the popples. And I sealed them because these are stickers, so then I sealed them, set them. And then these behind it are actually seed beads that I would show you, but I think I put the box of them away. Um, so, yeah, so these are all seed beads. Um, that I specifically, again, sat there and picked out the colors that I wanted because they're actually all mixed up because they fell. Um, so I picked out all the colors that I wanted. And then I put 
the cello glitter on the back of those. And then I put, um, it's, you can actually see it's really still gross. I haven't sanded it or anything. Um, but then this color is, uh, TKB's, um, Pearl Violet. So that's actually really, really light. And I wanted something kind of light. I wanted something a little bit darker, but um, I don't know. I think it's still pretty. And then if I put something on the back anyway, you know, a piece of felt or whatever. So I love this one. I don't know if I'm going to sell it yet, but if I do, it would be, um, I don't know, probably like six bucks. There's like, I just love it. There's like nothing wrong with it. There's no bubbles. There's nothing. And I love, love, love it. Um, again, I still have to sand it because I didn't make it too, too thick, but that's just a soap mold again. Love, love. Okay. Um, and then I'll just go through my random stuff quickly. Some chain that I got. Uh, a fine cable chain. Ooh. Um, just some... Those are for necklaces that I'm, two necklaces I'm finishing today, some other daughter necklaces. Some little beads to finish it. This is really, really cute. This is the Stickabilities Glitter Sticker. And these were like 50% off, I think, at Hobby Lobby. Um, no, don't do that, please. And then some storage. I got this, or I got these. For these because this drives me crazy because then it's just glitter everywhere um, and then again their stick abilities are at 50% off so I got this I'm gonna do a candy tile next candy tile next. I take the back I'm doing an underwater tile and then I'm doing a candy tile and then I'm gonna do a monster tile because I think these are super cute, and I think a tile like this cute. would be super cute in a little boy's room. And these are just like little borders. I think these are really cute, and these would be cute in, you know, the, the tile, like at the top or something, which I just dropped everything, so whatever. <laughs> And then just another one of these um, heart soap molds. Because mine is all broken. Because I didn't put uh, mold release in it. And then I put stuff in it. And then it broke. So Okay, that's it for today. Thanks.